We are writing a batch bits. So how do you define a batch bits? Global class database dot batch bits. We have global this dot query located. Batch will context. Then we are going to give written the base dot get query located. Get query located. I'm reading the records here. Read source. Reading. Then I'm reading a excuse me, that local. context we see. Here I will take one by one record. Lead L score if L dot Update the data. Update. Update void. Batch will context. Right. So what about this? It is going to fetch all the lead records. It is going to fetch all the lead records. And check if the source equal to web set the rating equal to it. It is a batch mix. You want to test the batch mix. When now you want to test the batch mix, rules are going to be different. The reason is any asynchronous operation you want to test, any asynchronous operation you want to test, there is a different format of running the test class. Look at the format. Right. First of all, if the batch has to run, this should be sample data. Unless there are records, batch will not run. So if you want to test whether it is running or not, first create a sample data. Because in the test class, it is not going to check the data in the database. Test class will consider that there is no data in the database. Okay, it's all empty. So we need to create a sample data and check whether the modifications are done or not. So what I am doing here, at the rate of each test, I I can also write the test class with the keyword called. Now I am creating a sample data. Sample data. We only created a sample data. If you want to run the batch, there should be data in the database. So we created a sample data. Then if you want to test any asynchronous operation, test dot start test. If you want to run any asynchronous operation, test dot start test. Test dot stop. Test dot start test. Test dot stop test. If you want any asynchronous operation to be tested, we have to write it. Test dot start test. Test dot stop test. Then create an object for the batch. Lead batch. The so told ID. Job ID for database dot. Batch 
will be I give some size. So why I am running within a test or start test and stop test? Okay, stop test. When you are running a synchronous operation, there is a possibility of hitting the bounding limits in the test class. When you are testing a synchronous operation in the test class, there is a possibility of hitting the bounding limits. If there is any governing limits issue that is coming in the test class, system will automatically add extra set of limit. Now, if it is throwing 151 DML exception, system automatically add one more 150 records. Then because what? 300 DML limits. If you are getting a governing limits problem, system will automatically add what? Extra set of limit. If you write the, if you execute the asynchronous operation within the test or start test and stop test. If you write any code within this, if the code is doing any governing limits problem, system will automatically resolve it by adding extra limits. Any code that is running within a test or start test, test or stop test, while running that code, if any governing limits problem is coming, system will automatically resolve it by adding extra set of limit. If you are writing any code within a test or start test, test or stop test, while running this code, if there is any governing limits problem that we are getting, Automatically, system will resolve this by adding one extra set of limits. While running this, we got too many sample queries. System will solve by adding extra limits. Okay, more than 10,000 records, system will solve. We are not solving. System is solving automatically. Why? Because we have written with an A, test dot, start test and a stop test. Now, after running this batch of Excel, what are the changes that we are expected? If the batch of Excel is running properly, the lead record rating should be what? What? Remember it? Battery box is running properly. The record whatever I inserted, the record rating should be what? What? Battery box fetch all the records whose lead source equal to web and update the rating equal to what? Yes, I have a record whose lead source equal to web. Automatically what happens? Lead leads equal to select rating from. If batch of X is running properly, it will fetch all the lead records and update the records whose lead source equal to web as hot. Now there is one record. So this record should be updated as what? Hot. Run it. Go back. Check the full coverage we have. But only the point is what? Any asynchronous operation that you are trying to test, that should be defined within a test dot. Start test and test dot stop test. I hope you are clear with this.